So Renault, 3 0 win against Baseford today. What do you think of the performance? I thought we were outstanding from start to finish. I thought Baseford came with a game plan and we kind of blew that out of the water with the first 15 minutes, you know, to go into that 2-0 lead was was great on all accounts and some great goals, you know, some great goals from, from the team today. But I just I'll just I'm just really happy that everything that we work on in training, everything we say as a group, it's coming to fruition and you know, I'll keep saying it, they're a great group who, who just keep taking things on board, who, who keep trying to execute what we throw in front of them and they're, and they're doing that. And, you know, like Clive Smith, who said, coming off the game, you know, off the, off the game, then best feeling, there's no better feeling. And, you know, we're, we're happy that, that we've got the points today. This is the third home win on the bounce. How happy, how, how happy are you uh, with the uh, performance lately? We've, turned about, we've talked about turning the Hive into a fortress, you know, we've said it. Uh, the fans are unbelievable, you know, they really are a good group. They've made me feel super welcome since I've stepped foot in the, in the, in the ground and in the football club. And, you know, we need them. We need them every single week. And if we can repay them, you know, in, like we have done in the last week with a, a 4 0 winner, you know, the 10 against Skemmon, you know, 3 0 today, then, then I'll be happy, you know, because all. What I want to do is, is, is work as hard as I can do to get the right results for the football club and you know there will be blips along the way but we're certainly heading in the right direction so you know just just delighted that, that we've got another win. So uh, Harrison Hopper gets his first goal for the club, how happy are you for him today? He's very good, he's very very good and we brought him to the football club, he's, he's soon becoming a fan's favourite, you know the amount of distance that he covers in the game, uh, how tenacious he is, how good he is with the, with, with the ball. But he's also got that turn of pace where he can go around two or three players. But I thought his goal that you know falling back onto his left foot, put it in the roof of the net was was a great finish and, and it was it was testament to the way we started. But what's good for me is that the goals are coming from everywhere. You know, you have got Ben Arcastle converts a penalty today, uh, who follows up with his goals from last week and in midweek. You got Hopper getting his first for the club and getting the tumble return from injury. Uh, and and he got his third. But but you know, Alex Kawamia. For me, was was unbelievable today. The way he made that third goal, you know, we found a little niche for him, and, and I keep saying it. And you know, he watches the interviews. I know he does, but you know, that, that kid is a is a really special talent. And and what we want to do is get the best out of him because we know that you know, with with an Alex, you know, leading the line the way he does do, you know, he, he, he spreads confidence to in everybody. But like I said, going back to the goals, the goals are being shared around, and that's all you can ask. But more importantly, the clean sheets are coming as well, and and pills will be as happy as with his, with his uh, defensive line as the tumble will be when he gets the third one because clean sheets to defenders, goalkeepers is really, really important but ask the group now, clean sheets to the whole group is really important because that's what we're going to pride ourselves on. So uh, you, you mentioned the fans before, how important they are, um, how important are the fans today? What I felt there was more in the stadium today, I felt there was more noise, uh, I felt there was more uh, people coming in and, and seeing what's happening, what project that we've got going on at, at Rylands and, and we've got something special going on and my plea is just to keep coming through the gates and keep travelling away and showing the support because the lads absolutely love it. I, I'm you know, over the moon with it and uh, it's nice to see you know, some familiar faces that, that have come to, the, that come to the game that you know have, have acquaintances of mine that I've worked with at previous clubs and they've come to see what we're doing so it's good but, but the fan base you know, is great before the game, during the game and after the game and I'm sure the lads will enjoy going and having a drink with all the fans now and you know enjoying the three points and then resting up and getting ready for training next week. Do you mind if I just ask you a quick question? No. Um, when we when Tom scored the third goal, we saw you absolutely delighted with it. Uh, how special is this club now getting to you, It is. It's since the first minute I walked in, you know, I keep I keep reiterating it, you know, Andy, Andy, Mark, Tony, you know, the guys behind the scenes, the way they made me feel, you know, it's it's they're not constantly on the phone, they're not uh, Kind of dissecting everything we do. There's a, there's a full trust in in what in what we've got going on, and you know, I all I want to do is keep saying it, work as hard as I can, and, and repay them. But but I really have. I've got affiliation with this football club already. You know, I, I love I love winning games of football. I love trying to develop people. But you're doing it for a club that you know you quickly fall and four, and I have done. You know, either with talking to the guys before the, or the girls before the game, to having a conversation at half time, full time. But seeing just seeing the, the amount of work that goes on here. You know, and, and all I want to do, like I say, all I want to do is, is not take any plaudits. That's for that dressing room in there. They take everything, but the plaudits that, that the work goes on behind the scenes, the guys that come on and help out during the week, the supporters that come and pay the, the money on match day to get behind Rylands, that's, that's what it's all about. So, you know, we're not done yet. You know, we're just moving in the right direction. We'll definitely enjoy our weekend. You know, nice to hear all the fans singing, you know, when we came off that, it's a special mention. And, and me, yeah, you know, the third goal went in and it was uh, not relief, it was just delight and I wanted to share that moment with the fans. So, you know, I'm happy about that. But like I said, the three points is done now, the league table will look after itself. 
we've got a big week in training before the live now next Saturday. Uh, just mentioning that game, what are your thoughts on the upcoming? Well, I'm delighted for Blythe that they've had a takeover. Uh, it's not nice seeing a manager, you know, get, uh, uh, lose his job, and, and by all accounts, he's, he's gone this week. But delighted that Blythe seem to have have got that sound footy now and can, can remain as a football club because no one wants to see people go out of business. They're, they're obviously on a journey. I think they might have got beat today, but but. I don't think the score will be the big success for them at the minute. He's, he's stayed together as a football club, so we'll look forward to welcoming them. We know probably a big week for the new manager. He brings in new players, that new manager bounce, but, but we can't worry about too many people at the minute. We've just got to worry about ourselves, climbing that league table, getting more points on the board, and you know, and, and just you know, just keep doing what we're doing. That's all I can ask the boys to do: keep doing what they're doing. But uh, well done to everyone today. Uh, connect to our islands and let's enjoy our weekend and see everyone next Saturday at the Hive.